here's what we are going to do. Uh, Nishad, uh, you tell me how you feel about uh, the advancements of AI in general and also what do you understand of AI as of now? Yeah, I am... Uh, it's similar to what you just said. My understanding of AI is coming from fiction. It's coming from Rajnikanth's robots. <laughs> 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 और टर्मिनेटर से आ रहा है तो इन जनरल तो ये सारी मूवीज जो है वो डराती ही है और आई थिंक पीपल इन जनरल आर स्केयर्ड अबाउट थिंग्स दे डोंट नो सो आई डोंट नो एनीथिंग और जैसे पोर्ट्रेयल भी है इसका कि ये जॉब ले लेगी क्योंकि जब इसका आप फायदे भी बताते हो कि ये 20000 लोगों का काम ये अकेले कर देगा दैट इज नॉट अ वेरी अश्योरिंग एडवर्टाइजमेंट कैसा आप रिलैक्स नहीं होते और तो बट बहुत इंटरेस्टिंग भी लग रहा है मुझे जितना मतलब जो जैसे मैंने बोला मुझे जबरदस्ती पता चल रही है ये चीजें तो जितना मैंने बिट्स एंड पीसेस में देखा है वो इंटरेस्टिंग भी बहुत है तो आई एम इन द मिडिल रियली इट्स अ वेरी नाइस अपॉर्चुनिटी फॉर मी टू नो मोर अबाउट दिस ओके राशि लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द बेसिक Right, the very basic thing. What is artificial intelligence? Uh, how would you define it? So, to just uh, very simplify it, I think uh, the construct is that see, जैसे हम uh, humanly जो intelligence है हमारा किसी चीज को सुनने के बाद the way we comprehend it, right? आपने कोई भी notion बोला, मैंने उसका sentiment समझा, positive है, एक अलग reply आया, negative है, एक अलग reply आया. So imagine karo ye context, right? Ye pura ka pura intelligence, the whole decision power that we have today as humans in some form and shape, right, is getting embedded into the machines. And I'm not saying okay. it is going to be depending upon the scenario, right? Jaysay agar mein example le lu, for example, aapka Netflix ka le lu mein, chik hai? Hmm. Now Netflix kya kar raha hai? Netflix this time, agar aapne aaj ek movie dekhi and it was, you know, some genre sort of a movie, now, this leak का आपने movie देखा, उसका पीछे database जो है, उसने उसको इतना you know clearly define कर रखा है कि जैसे अगर hmm. आप एक movie खत्म करोगे, and it is the kind of proposition that shows you what are the other ones that you can you can view in the same format, the the liking that you had today, uh, you know it will show you all of that, like very similar hmm. sort of recommendation comes on the table. So, you don't have so much effort. You are actually using AI in a daily basis, right? You use Blinkit, you use Amazon. If you bought a book, you see the recommendation. You buy a shirt, you see the recommendation. If you buy a blue shirt, then all blue, blue, blue will come in the forefront. So, hmm. technically speaking, in your e-commerce, any shopping that you are doing, uh, you know, any buying behavior, uh, even the size and all of that, right? It is actually in play and it is you are enjoying it to be honest, right? All hmm. of this you are enjoying hmm. because it is making your life much more simpler. And this is, these are the things you are saying. Every time I am buying a product, if I am buying a product, if I am buying a size wala prediction, bhi ho jai, aur pe mere ko mil jai, at least I will not do the returns and you know, all of that. So technically, one side we are enjoying this whole buying behavior powered by AI. But then on the other side, we are scared of losing the jobs, right? So we, yeah. the idea is, ये तो ease कर रहा है ना the idea is hmm. it is also pushing us to see a new dimension and when you hmm. start seeing the new dimension you are actually using all of that and you are enjoying all of that so hmm. there should be no fear I understand that there is a job security sort of a thing which is in play but uh, I mean we we can talk more about that yeah 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 so essentially you are saying the जो अभी algorithms है like Instagram पे या whatever they are all sort of in your uh, definition, AI powered, right? Absolutely, absolutely. So you're seeing AI in action today. Okay. But then I would actually argue, um, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, and I think Nishad, you can also uh, uh, sure. like add to this. Like for example, Nishad, you have put up YouTube clips, right? Yeah. Um, so, so essentially, like you must have gotten all this gyan how to, mm. you know, make sure the algorithm promotes your shit. You yeah. know, like even on Instagram, people keep giving tips about, oh, how to, you know, like how to, what is the format of the reel that you have to put out to make it go viral and all, all of those things. So there's like a formula in play where we assume 
that we know what the algorithm will promote right but essentially from the other side flip side what we are also doing is that we are also working to keep more people on that platform that we are posting the content on with the help of this algorithm right rashi so uh, if you look at uh, algorithm matlab ai and algorithms i i i should i use it uh, like together or should i just call it algorithm and ai separately or is it just ai see it's a very uh, you know you can see there are there are algorithms at the back end right all of these yeah. are algorithms at the back end you can you can right, you right. can say yes so right, it doesn't matter yes okay so i can use it interchangeably so so ai essentially is let's say putting out all these all this content and they are making users stay on the phone which which is which is a sign of addictive behavior so it also is a question of how this ai is being used right hmm. so uh, like for example rashi you said that it's making our life simpler i would also say in a way it might be making our life a little worse as well in some other aspects see that is true like i mean today i think the mobile addictivity is so high that you know hmm. we are we are in a in a in a room with people but if you try you know and this could this is valid for personal and professional both of them and you're trying to interact with people but he's more worried in clearing his mails <laughs> you know he's more worried yeah. looking at instagram looking more worried about you know what is there posted on the facebook or making a picture of you know what he's eating and pushing it there rather than actually the guy sitting your family sitting right across and you don't want to spend time so but hmm. i mean I think we have got it to that level. I think yeah. we really now can't go back in my mind unless and until you decide that this is what I want to do in a restrictive manner. I think you are already mm. progressing in that direction, and it it's going to be a very personal choice. That yeah, I don't want to use a mobile, or I don't want to get down to looking at Netflix, and you know, I would only like to read books, and I don't want to watch documentary. These are very personal choices. It's all there. how mm. and the more you decide what in the direction that you want to head towards uh, you can choose make those calls but it's way too late now to say you know i would like not because it, it is going in a direction right mm. it is got into that direction. it's very difficult for an individual to break free and say ki i would like to reverse it right uh, so the word artificial intelligence has the word intelligence in it so uh, maybe we can spend some time actually defining what is intelligence as well or talking about it uh, nishant do you want to uh, take a stab at it also don't worry you can be wrong we have an expert to correct us both of us are noobs so it's fine no no ab mujhe lag raha hai mazak ki uda raha hu jaise aapne intelligence bola aur fir mujhe bola bolne ke liye i thought i am taking this personally meghnath but uh... okay fine sorry sir sorry <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no this was very interesting to hear because jab bhi hum log artificial intelligence ki baat karte hain hamare dimag mein automation aur uh, uh, driverless cars matlab bahut hi large scale cheeze hi dimag mein aati hain hmm. so hmm. we miss the fact that everything matlab jo algorithm hum log ke uh, isme chal raha hai ki jo flipkart ho gaya ya koi bhi e-commerce site ho gaya ya hmm. even the social media wo sab bhi actually ai hi govern hi kar raha hai to so, hmm. uh, तो मेरा ये सवाल ये होगा कि आपको जैसे आ, हर साइंटिस्ट जब भी कुछ ऐसा पिक्चर को देखते हैं कुछ इजाद करता है और ही इज वेरी एक्साइटेड अबाउट इट एंड देन व्हेन इट गोज रॉन्ग ही हिमसेल्फ इज अरे मैंने ये गलत बना दी ठीक है तो मैं बस अभी से आपसे पूछ रहा हूँ कि व्हाट आर द व्हाट डू यू थिंक लाइक इज द कि यहाँ ये नहीं होना चाहिए आगे जाके मतलब Hmm. What what is it that you're worried about? Is what about, Rashi from, is asking. Yeah. From sitting yeah, so, at this time today. Yeah. So I'll tell you. Uh, when we started Rezo, right, and we talked about automation. So I have told you that 15,000 people are doing the work. I'm doing the system. Hmm. Hmm. And that's the degree of automation that I'm sitting today, onboarding more enterprises, so more evolution will happen. But if you see, and I was very worried, care what kind of a karma will I generate? I'm basically eating away people's jobs, right? I mean, yeah. I was I yeah. very worried about it. And then I spoke with a couple of entrepreneurs, care uh, you know, this is good. I may be able to make money with this, but you know, what mm. I'm doing is this uh, is this you know correct? Should I do that or not? And this guy said that, देखो ये boat ये जो ride है ये जो wave है ये तो जाएगा जाएगा. 
right hmm. you can ride on it or you can stay back but this is going to go on if you don't do it today somebody else will do it right it's going to happen you can't okay. just say you can't just keep denying it ki nahi hoga so it is hmm. it is a technology which is going to be taking people to be so it's a technology jo hum kar rahe hain is time if i hmm. if i go hmm. back अगर मैं इसको इन अ फुल थ्रॉटल इन इन अ प्रस्पेक्टिव से देखूं इन इन अ गुड प्रस्पेक्टिव से देखूं एक्चुअली आई एम गोड बी पुशिंग मेघनाथ आई एम गोड बी पुशिंग निशान टू बी एबल टू डू देयर जॉब्स बेटर आप कुछ कर रहे हो कॉम्पिटिशन यू विल बी फोर्स टू इवॉल्व यू विल बी फोर्स टू परफॉर्म यू नो दंटैक्ट सेंटर टू डे राइट इफ यू लुक इन टू देयर चर्न यू नो द एट्रेशन रेट दैट इज समथिंग अराउंड फोर्टी फाइव फोर्टी एट परसेंट अगर आप उसको देखोटीट we are doing a lot of automations for the call center industry we are trying mm-hmm. to basically disrupt the call center industry okay mm-hmm. okay so i'm just take, coming from that perspective so sure, agar sure. if you look into the people there right they are extremely unhappy their attrition rate is very very high and uh, with that attrition rate ab wo kyu khush nahi hai because employers ne unko jo kaam diya hai karne ka it's a bloody very repetitive sort of a work that has been given to them day in and day out hmm. wahi repetitive kaam mujhe karna hai and there is no innovation there is no newness to wo bhi ek aate hain machine ke jaise aate hain baithte hain half big job karke chale jate hain na impact hmm. is what enterprise hmm. is, is losing a bomb to be able to enable these call centers to be enable the customer experience on the other hand jab ye banda aap उस एंटरप्राइज के कस्टमर से बात कर रहा है इमेजिन योर I am just giving you one example, right? You mm-hmm. take an AI there, and you say, "Ki yar, jo to bahut hi repetitive kaam hai, wo chalo machine kar leta hai, wo AI kar leta hai, theek hai?" And jahan pe intelligence ki zarurat hai, right? Wo mm-hmm. wala sara kaam aap karo. To aapne mm-hmm. in a way you have also, you know, decluttered their plate, something which was very repetitive. Aapne utha ke usko bola, AI aap isko kar lo. और जो इंटरेस्टिंग काम था जहां क्रिएटिविटी चाहिए थी जहां माइंडफुलनेस चाहिए थी वेयर ही वुड बी हैप्पी टू डू इट राइट वो काम जब आपने ह्यूमन एजेंट को बोला करने को ह्यूमंस को बोला करने को दे सेड यार दिस इज व्हाट आई वांट टू डू सेम कॉस्ट पे काम अच्छा एट्रिशन रेट ऑटोमेटिकली विल कम डाउन राइट दे आर नॉट फीलिंग दैट बर्डन सो दिस इज हाउ इफ यू लुक फ्रॉम द पर्सपेक्टिव एंड दिस इज जस्ट अ यू नो इट्स जस्ट अ a view how you view it if i go to a call center and i talk about it and i talk about the positive the positives are much higher there is so much sure. that you are just not doing. so so the the ai can take up lot of that work and something which is creative something which needs that mindfulness something that hmm. needs that touch should be done by the human but i can i i'll push push back on you a little bit here rashi because uh, what nishad said essentially right which is uh, like i think what are the things that we should be fearful i can see in this very example right you said that um, let's say 45% of the people are unhappy and there's attrition and they're leaving and doing other things let's put it that way right okay. but there is still this 55% people there who are dependent on that call center to essentially earn a living now if you are someone who is introducing ai to this entire system a company who wants profits would ideally want like 100% of these people to be replaced by an ai so isn't so that, that a bad thing and would that wouldn't that result in like a a, a bad scenario there so meena i'll just correct you here when i yeah. say 45% attrition hai wo wo kaam naya kaam dhoond raha hai ठीक है 45 परसेंट एट्रेशन जो अभी sure, कंपनी sure. है वो बिल्कुल सिमिलर कंपनीज में जा रहा है विद अ लिटिल इवॉल्व काम ढूंढते हुए करेक्ट आई मीन सिमिलर काम ही ढूंढ रहा है बट लिटिल मोर सैलरी लिटिल बिट मोर वर्क लेस प्रेशर 
but similar league ka kaam but they also okay. can't move to the next levels very easily so it's play hmm. of, for a very small money they're moving from one cup to the other somewhere the pressures are lesser they're moving from one to the other so that is where how i'm defining attrition not that these guys are leaving what they are doing they're just moving to another organization to be able to do a little bit more productive work as Fair simple as that they're not changing Fair their enough. job profile so technology like ai is trying to ease that is trying to bring in that hmm. newness they're trying to bring in that refreshness so that jo redundant kaam hai you know where it is just reminder you know and a couple of and there is a lot of that wo hmm. aap ai ko de do and where you need that creativity where you need that human touch imagine somebody has lost somebody in the family and aap insurance company ke paas jao asking for that claim imagine you are talking to a bot i mean you don't need that at that point of time and there are mm. 100 such scenarios right where you need people you need intelligent people to be able to solve it you don't want to get stuck in you know uh, uh, ai bot doing certain things right so mm. where that human touch is required you should bring in because and then there is so much that you have not been able to touch the enterprises have not been able to dwell they would like to do interact with their customer base on a lot of those thoughts which they are not able to do it could be nurturing session it could be educational session so that uh for example uh, chat gpt is doing in a fantastic way i was just you know listening to a podcast i think mm. it's going to take over the whole education space in a big way and you know the way they bring up this generative ai is bringing up things it's absolutely fantastic so it's about kis perspective mein aap usko rakh rahe ho it's a beautiful perspective i understood you know the idea is if the resistance is not there it's going to be evolving the growth of uh, you know the economy i mean there's going to be a big growth